Hey guys, it's Sabrina. So long time no see. Like always, it, I seem to be uploading once a month now. I'm sorry guys. Um, it's been crazy busy and hectic, especially with finals coming up. So yeah, um, but I wanted to get in a quick video for you guys. Um, I have an exam tomorrow and I'm taking a break to make a video about a pretty important topic, um, which is taking a year off or not taking a year off. And I've been thinking a lot about this as I get ready to apply for medical school. And I'm just psyching myself out and getting really nervous that I'm not ready and that I should take a year off and stuff. But I, um, I know, I guess we'll see. I think right now at this point, I'm going to apply and I'm going to do my best to get a really high score on my MCAT and make my like a pretty decent application and see how it goes. I hope it goes well. Um, you know, if it's meant to be, then I'll get in. If it's not, then I will take that year off or whatever and um, I will take advantage of it and um, make myself a better applicant, just prepare for it. And that's why I've been thinking about doing, taking a year off is because I don't know if I am ready or if I look like good enough for medical school or if they would accept me and stuff like that. I've been thinking more and more about that. And the reason why is because we actually had an advisor come in during one of our Friday e meetings and she talked about like reasons to take a year off and um, why it would benefit you and stuff. So I was just wondering if any of you guys have thought about taking a year off or if any of you guys have taken a year off before applying to med school, if you guys are in med school or considering applying to med school. A lot of people that I talk to actually tell me that they're not applying. They're like, no, I'm going to take a year off and just, um, you know, try to strain my application and see how it goes and just enjoy my year off before I apply to med school. So that's why I'm kind of stuck between what should I do. But um, right now I think I am going to apply and um, like I said, if it's meant to happen, it'll happen. It's whatever is fated to happen. I kind of just will let um, fate take its course. So talking about um, taking a year off. So the reasons why a lot of people like to take a year off is because you need to strain your application. A lot of med schools look for life experience, which is such a broad statement, like life experience, what does that mean? Life experience can be anything from like um, going and studying abroad um, in a different country, shadowing abroad in a different country, um, even like learning a new language or like going to um, a country in whose language you're proficient in and doing something there, volunteering or something like that, anything that looks like you have like cultural experience, you're well-rounded, they want that. Because um, life experience kind of just has to do with the fact that you know how to deal with a lot of situations in life. Um, they also look for good MCAT scores. So if you haven't, if you've taken your MCAT and haven't gotten a good MCAT score like me, then they recommend that you take a year off and just focus on studying for the MCAT. So right now I do plan on taking my MCAT July 22nd. So um, we will see. I haven't. Right now, it depends on how I do on my practice test, so if I'm doing pretty well on my practice test after I've been studying and I feel pretty good about it, I'll take it. If not, then I'm pushing it off um, to who knows when. <laughs> we'll see. So it all depends on your MCAT, and I just want to have a really good score so I can be a really good applicant, and if I don't have the score, then I don't think there's any point in applying. Um, I do really want to apply because there's a school that's just now opening up, and it would be a really great opportunity because right now they're actually paying for your tuition and everything paying for you to go. It's not accredited right now because it is a new school, so I've been just like weighing the benefits of doing that, and it would be pretty great if I applied to that. So that's why I kind of want to apply this summer. Um, they also look at your like volunteer exp experience, your clinical experience, your um, community service hours and stuff like that. And I haven't done much community service. I have through my fraternity because I was part of a Miracle Madness committee this past year that helped me get involved with like our local community, which was really fun. But other than that, I haven't done much community service, so I don't know how much they look at that or not. I have done hospice. I have done volunteering um, at a hospital for clinical, and I've done stuff like that, so that's really cool. I also did get a new hospice patient, and she's really nice, and I'm, we like her so much. She has a cute little dog, and we get to walk him twice a week, so it's been really good. Um, so I've been doing that, and... Um, yeah, so they look at that. They want to make sure that you have done it all. You've tried everything. Um, they also want to see that you haven't done just science stuff. Um, so make sure you do other stuff that you're passionate about. For me, I'm passionate about YouTube. I love making YouTube videos about advice, about school, about makeup, hair, and stuff like that. So this is my like go-to favorite hobby that I do on the side. And um, yeah, so this is what I'm going to be talking about in my application. What else? Am I? What else do you have to worry about? Your personal statement is a really big deal. I've just now started working on it, and they say you should start working on it like months in advance, and I don't know how I feel about it or if I like it, so I'm going to be going to talk to an advisor about it and asking her to like help me out and edit it and look at it, because I am not a good CH, CH writer. I'm not a good essay writer, as 
my CH teacher told me um, on my last essay, he was like, this is disappointing. And I was like, okay, this hurts a little bit. I'm just not good at writing essays. It's not my thing. So um, yeah, I'm a disappointment when it comes to essay writing. Um, another good reason is to, um, to just take a break from school because a lot of people get burnt out. It's weird, but I've noticed myself saying this so much this semester, more than I've ever said it before, is that I am burnt out and I am tired and I'm over school. And I don't know if it's because of the stress of applying to med school as well and thinking about how much it's going to affect my future. It's, um, this semester has been pretty stressful on its own too. I really love my classes. It's just that I feel like I'm always busy doing work for them one way or another. Um, I have been having finding more time to just relax and have fun and enjoy myself because I'm usually really strict and I'll just like study, stay home on the weekends and not do stuff. But I've been trying to just like balance it out more because I realize that by constantly studying, constantly doing work, I'm like killing myself and I'm just I'm not enjoying like the little things in life. So I've been trying to um, work on that because you know how us pre med students are type A personality. Like I'm definitely just twirling a bear around. Sorry guys. Type A personality, always go, 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 never stop, and sometimes it just kills you. And I've been talking to a lot of people, and a lot of them feel like that. So I've been thinking about doing a video about like motivation and like what to do when you get burnt out and stuff. If you guys are interested in that, I can talk about that. Um, so yeah, it's important to just take a break. If you ha do feel burnt out after your undergraduate years, and just relax and enjoy yourself. Um, I was talking to the new orthopedic doctor that I'm shadowing, and she said that she, after um, grad school, she um, took some time off before she even applied to med school and said she went to Spain and played a little and just had fun. And I was like, you are so cool. That sounds so fun. And she's like, she learned Spanish, like she enjoyed herself, and she's like, I just really needed it. And then I was ready to focus on med school. I was like, you know, that's that's great. Like, it makes me think about studying abroad last semester, last summer in Spain and how much fun I had and how much I loved it and just how much more traveling I really want to do. Um, and all of it right now is pushed off until after med school because I definitely want to get that over with. That's my thing is I kind of want to just go to med school and get it done with as quick as possible. And if I can do that, then great, I'll do it. But if not, if, if it's not meant to happen, then I won't. I'll just relax and enjoy a year off, I guess. So, um, those are other good reasons. Also to get good letter recommendations. I am struggling so hard right now with letter recommendations because I decided that talking to professors um, was unnecessary these past three years and I'm very, like, as I said, introverted so I don't feel like the need to go up to my professor and be like, yo, what's up? Tell me about your life story because I feel like that would be weird. So I don't really do that and I don't, I never really connected with any of my professors and some of them I really liked and I should have talked to them and I regret not talking to them but I didn't know what to talk to them about. A lot of people just say go to their office hours and ask questions. So I've been working on that, I've been like getting to know a couple of my professors better but it's <laughs> almost the end of the semester and I need like three letter of recommendations by like June so we'll see how that goes. Um, but try to talk to your professors ahead of time. Try to build a good relationship with them where they really know you and they can write you a strong letter of rec. Like they know stuff about your life. Because it'll look way better than having a professor that kind of knows you write some, like, the same thing that they've always written about their students. So that's very important. And um, I think that's all she talked about for reasons why to take a year off. And um, it, just, it was really good. It was really inspirational. It really helped. Like, um, you think about it more. Me realize that it's not the end of the world if I do have to take a year off, um, if it'll help me in the end, in my future, and either way I know that med school is what I want to do, so no matter what I end up getting there, when I end up going there, I know that um, I'll be doing it someday, so I guess there's no rush, but there is a rush. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. So I just wanted to make this quick video, and I hope you guys are doing well. Um, yeah. Um, let me know what you want to see in the comments below. If you guys have any advice for me, um, let me know in the comments below too. I read all your comments. Um, they mean a lot to me. So I'll see you guys very soon. Bye guys.